Hello and thank you for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be Java tutorial number nine and the, the topic today is going to be an introduction to arrays and working with arrays. So what an array is, it's a collection or think of it as a container of similar type values and these can be of different type values but not, in, not mixed in the same array. So an array can be a group or collection of integers, it can be a group or collection of strings, um, or other type values, but you cannot mix and match these in the same type of array. In the same array, I'm sorry. Here's a couple of examples of how of working with arrays. So you could init, uh, declare an array of integers here with this example, integer, open bracket, close bracket, and then we're calling this array new array. Um, but you'll see this quite frequently, as you'll see um, an array created where you initialize and go ahead and add the values on the same line. So in this example, we just want to add these five values in the array. So create this array and add the five values. So integer, open bracket, close bracket, new array equals, and then you have open curly brackets or curly braces, and then add your five values separated by commas, close it out with the curly bracket, and then, and then it will create that, initialize it and create it. And then a quick note here is you can also flip-flop this. So this could be integer, integer name, and then your brackets like that. And in this example, what I want to do is print out the third number here in this array. We're using this one as an example. So the third number in the array is, and then we could say close the, close the, um, the string here, and then say plus. And what are we going to add? We're going to add the a value from the new array and we're going to add in the brackets we're going to add object number four. And the reason why we're add, adding object number four is I made a little note here. The array number count starts at zero and not one. So this is actually if you wanted to pull this value or print this value you'd print object zero. This would be one, this would be two. Actually this should be, sorry about that, this should be, should actually be two. And that would print out the value, the third value here. So um, that's um, what I want to share with you as basics. Uh, so now I'm going to jump into a couple of examples. So I'm going to go into my package here. I'm going to say create a new and we'll create a class. We're going to call this array test. And I'm going to go ahead and add the public main line. Okay, so now what I want to do, let's go in here and just create a basic, um, let's go in and create a, a, an array of integers, we're going to call it numbers, and I'm going to open bracket and close bracket, and then I'm going to go ahead and initialize it, and I'm going to add these values. So let's do 5, 10, 13, 34, and 57, just some random values. Okay, now I've hit my semicolon. And now let's assume that I just want to print, print out the third value here. So SYSO, hold down the control key, hit tab for the shortcut. The third number in my array is space. And now I need to reference, so I need to go plus to add this value. And what do I want to where do I want to reference? I want to reference this number from this array from this array name. So it's plus numbers, open bracket and close bracket. Now I need to reference this, which is 0, 1, 2. Okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and click run. It's going to ask me to save it. And there you have it. The third number in my array is 13. If I try to run the fifth object here and say run, ask me to save it, I get an error. And the reason why I get an error, you can see it here, array index out of bounds exception, and it's because five is not a valid, this array does not have a, a um, integer in that fifth position because it's got zero, one, two, three, four. If I change this to 4, it would print out that last number there.
Okay, 57. Okay. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to comment these out. I'm going to come down here and I am going to work a scenario where we do integer n is equal to 53. So let's assume that we want to create a, lot, a pool of lottery numbers and then we're not going to do it in this example but we could run a random program to select six numbers for us in a lottery. So I would want to create an array of 53 numbers and that'd be 1 through 53 and then instead of doing this where I have to type out 1 comma 2 comma 3 what I can do is create a loop to do that. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to fill the array and how I do that I say integer numbers open bracket close bracket and then I go here and I say equals new int and now I'm creating this array and then now what I do I go down here and I say for integer i is equal to zero so this is going back to our loop lessons that we did and then we say i is less than in this case now we're saying instead of saying less than 53 we're just going to set it to this variable here semicolon and then and then we increment i every time we go through the loop and then we go down here and we do numbers i is equal to i. Alright, and then I'm going to show you, we're going to have a fix here. We're going to show you one, one thing that happens here. And then we're going to print the array. Alright, and I'm going to do SYSO, control spacebar for the shortcut. And I'm not going to do a, a, a printout. I'm just going to, I'm not going to do any text here. I'm just going to print out the numbers. So what I'm going to do here is now I want to print out not just one of the numbers. I want to print out all of the numbers. Okay. Since I want to print out all of the numbers in the array, what I need to do is use an arrays to string method. So how I do that, I type arrays dot and then I do two and you see here it'll pop up two string boolean so I'm going to go down here and choose two string integer and then you'll see it'll pop up here and what integers do I want to use I want to use the numbers array so you can see it pops up here so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to go ahead and do the run okay and now I'm going to go ahead and print those out so now you can see what happened here I have zero through 52 okay so what do I really want I want 1 to 53 so I'm gonna go over here and do I plus 1 okay so that's gonna that's gonna take I and just add 1 to that value so it's basically gonna in increment all those numbers by 1 and now you can see I have 1 through 53 okay so that's what I want to share with you today I appreciate you joining take care thank you